Carl uh, will start off for it the uh, Yorkshire Wildlife uh, Park today for the Don's uh, media launch. Uh, how good is it to be here? Oh, it's great. Um, you know Cheryl, who, who owns this place down here, is, she's always accommodating for the boys when we come down here. The last time I was here was with the team is with the Cook Island teams and uh, you know they loved it so you know we want to thank the the wildlife park it's it's really come on massively it's there's changes happening here every day and you know this is a, a little hidden gem for Doncaster I think people uh, need to come down here it's a great place and a, and a fantastic uh, facility and one that we should all be proud of. Of course we're uh, here today to launch our Super 8 campaign um, you know, the business end of the season now and uh, there's going to be a great offer on for all Doncaster Rugby League fans where um, you can come down to the Keepmo Stadium and watch four games for the price of three with a uh, Super 8 season ticket. Yep, we, uh, we launched that yesterday and um, surprisingly we've had quite a bit of uptake on it already which is, you know, shows there's a little bit of interest for the eights. Um, you know, it's vital time of the season for us. We, we finished fourth. You know, we're, we're hoping uh, we can slip through there and get promoted. Um, our game this week, there's been a little bit of a, a hiccup with that and, you know, it's not not something you like to see in the game. We sympathise with that, with York, um, but we felt it was in the best interest of everyone that we postpone this game on the weekend to let the RFL and York try and resolve the situation over there. So we wish them all the best. But, you know, um, we've got a club that that I have to look after as well and you know for us to be told on Tuesday the game was off and then get a call today uh, about 11 saying there's a possibility it could be on and um, but different kickoff time I just I didn't feel it was right and, and necessary for our club to, um, to be put through that so we we decided the game should be postponed whereas we can you know it's a vital game Let, let's get it right it's it's a playoff game we need to prepare right. Our players had seen the game was off Tuesday. Then for me to go back and say it was back on, it's not, it's not right. Let's, let's just let York and, um, and the RFL deal with the issue. The reason we're talking about it is because the impact it had, we were the club that they were playing. And if, if we weren't playing, then we probably wouldn't say anything about it. But, you know, we, we wish 40 and, and John Guilford, whatever they're doing, we, we hope they can come through this. and. Um, Rugby league definitely needs a York, and, that, and that's a certainty. Obviously, from Doncaster's perspective, it's not ideal, though, I guess, for Gary Thornton and his side. You know, last week not having a game, and then this week not having a game, having two, two weeks off. Well, listen, mate, we're, we're very fortunate. Um, there's, you're 100% right, we, we don't want two weeks off. Um, you know, we're, we're very grateful we are partnered up with Hull, and, you know, I spoke to Motu Tony this morning and, and says that we. Um, we don't want to give the boys another weekend off at a vital part of the season and, and we need some help from them. Um, would it be possible for us to uh, have a, a, an opposed game against their 23s if the, if the worst happened the game was off? Gary's since spoken to Richard and he sorted all that out and listen it's as close as to a game as we can get. Um, we'll go over to Hull on, on Saturday and have a, an opposed run against their 23s so we need it. Um, and, and uh, you're right, we, we didn't want the boys having another weekend off of just putting their feet up. They've done that last week. Obviously, supporters are going to be uh, asking the question perhaps about Ayafita Palacina. Um, obviously, it would have been his eighth game um, this week against uh, York. Um, can you give us any clarification on that? Well, yeah, I've asked the, the rugby league for the dispensation because, you know, Fekka was going to be in the team on the, on the weekend. Um, so I'm waiting to hear back from them. I'm pretty sure that would there have been no game, uh, um, that the, the next game or whether this game's been called off and they count that as the eighth game because he was going to play, I don't know. I'm waiting to hear back from them, but, um, you know, we'll we wait and see. But I would like to think that the deadline's passing, um, but through no fault of our own that we will, whatever our next game is, that'll be his eighth game. And obviously, just finally to finish on, uh, just to finish back at the uh, we're back at the Yorkshire Wildlife Park, um, and we're going to have a new hashtag for the uh, for the Super Eights, which is going to be ready to roar, and uh, fans can look forward to uh, a great selection of photographs and uh, things to come from today's media launch. Yeah, ready to roar, and um, hopefully the fans will roar on the Dons in the playoffs, eh?
So use whichever hashtag you want, ready to roar or roar on the dongs. Let's go.